definitely the best option if you're stepping up from wood to metal straight swords. In this video, I'm gonna be talking all about the metal Tai Chi sword we have for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. I'm gonna be talking all about its features, why you'd wanna buy this over other straight swords out there on the market. And at the end, I'm gonna to put together a short montage of people training with Chinese straight swords. Hello, my name's Doug Swift. I've been doing martial arts for the past 36 years and I've been the owner of Enzo Martial Arts for the past 18 years. If you like this video, click the little icon down below, subscribe to this channel and get all the latest videos from all the products we have here for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. So let's get into this video and learn all about the metal Tai Chi sword we have for sale at Enzo. So throughout this video, you will hear me refer to this as various different names. There's all kinds of names for these straight swords. Now Chinese straight sword, obviously Kung Fu straight sword, Tai Chi straight sword. Also you might hear them being called tai, just Tai Chi swords because it is the standard sword used in Tai Chi, although there are other ones around. Now the real name for them is Jian in Chinese. Now people do also call them these, but you know, you don't hear it very often. You do more often than not hear, heard them being called Jin, which isn't the right name. It's just someone's heard it and sort of mistranslated it. It is Jin in Chinese. But you know, whatever style you do, just call it whatever. Tai Chi straight sword, Chinese straight sword is absolutely fine. All those names are all perfectly correct. It doesn't really matter. And I'm sure people in the comments will tell me that one name is absolutely essential above the others, but you know, we're pretty relaxed here at Enzo. We have to call them whatever. But the name of the product on the website we've called Metal Tai Chi Sword, partly because it's metal and partly because most people are gonna be using it for Tai Chi and it's a sword. So it seems pretty obvious and a pretty good name for it. Now at Enzo, we do like to think we've got a pretty good selection of weapons in general and a pretty good selection of the Tai Chi straight swords. Now what we don't tend to do at Enzo is have duplicates of things. We don't want like the same product, but just with kind of different bits on it. Every product we want to be slightly different, have a slightly different function for slightly different people. And we think with our Tai Chi straight swords, that's exactly what we've done. So we started off the wooden ones and then this metal Tai Chi sword is probably the first one in, in the line of straight swords that people would want to use. Now, the other contender is the really wobbly Wushu sword, which is a really bendy, really lightweight metal one. But most people moving on to metal for Tai Chi, I think would like this one the best out of all of them. So what are the reasons for this? Why do I think these things? Well, it's pretty lightweight, which is good. It does have a little bit of flex in the sword, but not too much. So it's fairly rigid, which is good for swinging it around. It's not bending all over the place and making a racket, load of noise, but it's still fairly lightweight. So it's very usable. It will give you feedback while doing your Tai Chi forms and practice. So there's a little bit of weight, but your arm's not gonna be falling off by the end of a session, which is definitely not that much fun. If the thing's too heavy, you can't actually use it, what's the point? So it fits really nicely into that kind of middle ground for people that are fairly new to training with metal swords. So just having a look at some of the features of the sword, I'll start from one end to and go to the other. So you get two tassels tied into a nice knot. Get my camera to focus, there we go. And down to the end, fixed to the pommel of the sword, really nice like design on the end of these pommels. Now they're not like mega high quality. I wouldn't say this was like an ancient, like solid pommel. It's, they're usually hollow, partly to fit the tang, which is screwed to the end. Pretty standard for a lot of the Tai Chi swords nowadays. And a really nice wooden handle that's painted black. That, even though it doesn't look particularly grippy, actually does have quite a lot of grip, which is good. So you get loads of control when you're, when you're swinging this thing around. Nice guard here. Again, lots of nice patterns. And that's kind of the same for all the fittings on the scabbard all the way down. A wooden painted scabbard with a carved dragon, which wraps around the scabbard all the way down to the end with a nice metal fitting on the end. Now, these scabbards aren't particularly durable. I won't go whacking them against stuff. It will protect the blade inside. If you dropped it on the end, the hope is that this metal end would give it a bit of protection. But you know, they're not the most durable things. If you are 
chucking other bags on it in the car and like whacking it about, it's probably gonna split. It is just wood. So, you know, be careful with it and then you can keep your sword nice and protected. Now, like I said earlier, the blade does have a bit of bend in it and it's probably about two thirds rigid with a flex on the end. Now, this isn't sprung steel. The manufacturers say this is stainless steel, but because of the thinness of it, it does have the flex. Now, we actually oil these anyway, because I don't know if I 100% trust that it's stainless. The manufacturers say that it is, so it shouldn't rust at all in the air, but, you know, we don't really want to risk it and find out if we take all the oil off and it does rust, then we've got a product that we can't sell. So it's up to you whether you want to test that out when it's yours. Personally, I would just keep it oiled while you're storing it. Definitely stops any risk of you getting rust spots all over it. But if you want to have it completely clean with no oil on it, it's fine. Once it's yours, you can do whatever you like. But just keep an eye on it, certainly for the first month or so. And if you are getting a few spots, then we know the manufacturer has lied and it's just straight steel and not stainless steel. <laughs> You know, it does does happen with stuff coming out of China, unfortunately, that it's not always exactly what it says it is. And maybe in the past this sword was stainless and they just decided to do a batch of straight steel. It's really hard and unfortunately it is the problem of buying stuff from China. But you can get rid of all of those problems by just keeping it nice and oiled. All, short, all swords should be treated like that anyway. Whenever they're stored, not being used, keep them nice and oiled and you'll have a sword that will last you a lifetime. So what stars would use this? Well, like I said before, it's gonna be mainly Chinese stars, Tai Chi and Kung Fu. To be honest, I think the majority of people buying these are gonna be for Tai Chi styles and there's loads of them all over the place and different schools vary. So if you're not quite sure what you need, give us a call and we can go through the different options here. Some people like like some classes have very specific requirements about what they want and they all stick to exactly the same one. Others aren't so picky and you can kind of pick and choose, but most people buy needs to be Tai Chi. However, there are plenty of Kung Fu styles out there, even like the Bagua and Xing Yi, there's lots of sword styles all across China, but pretty much Chinese styles. I think there are some straight sword stuff in Korea, but it's pretty rare. There's not many people doing it these days. So the majority is Chinese styles of martial arts. Now, one thing that people definitely ask us about are the dimensions of the sword. Really important to them to make sure they're getting the right length and the right weight. So I'll give you a bit of that information here. Now I'll put all of the details on the website so you've got a full idea of exactly what you're getting. But in length, you're looking at about 101 centimeters total. That's including the scabbard. Just the blade on its own. You're looking about 76 centimeters. Now the guard does come over the blade a bit, so it's not an exact length of the sword, depending on where you measure it from, it will change, but it gives you a pretty good idea of what you're gonna be getting. Now in terms of weight, looking around 650 grams. So like I said earlier, a good weight, but not crazy. It's definitely not gonna be pulling your arm off. And that's exactly what you want. So as mentioned earlier, we do like to think we've got a pretty good selection here at Enzo Martial Arts. And I'll just show you a few of the other straight sword options, as well as a few of the other products we sell here. So as well, as the metal Tai Chi sword, we also have two different types of wooden Tai Chi straight swords. Now, both are good in their own right. These ones tend to be slightly lighter than these. These do vary over the years. They've kind of chopped and changed, but both very good and both very popular with Tai Chi practitioners. And usually the starting point for most people with Tai Chi sword. If you've been a regular visitor to our website, you know that we don't always have stock of the Tai Chi straight swords. They are pretty sporadic in how they sort of come in and out of stock and availability. So we don't always have everything, but at the moment we do have the Damascus Tai Chi swords in, which are the other end of Tai Chi swords. Really heavy, really inflexible. You know, hardly any flex in the blade whatsoever, but really beautiful sword. Really good fittings on them, nice and solid, very, very pretty, nice wooden handle, and a really good Damascus look to the blade. Now, a few styles of Tai Chi also use the broadswords, and we do have a whole selection of broadswords here, as well as the straight swords. These are really nice, these ones. 
nice and flexible, very usable, but mostly used by Kung Fu guys, but also a few Tai Chi. Now you will see behind me, we've also got loads of sticks as well, but we do all the short weapons, the long flexible weapons. So go on our website, enzomartialarts.com and see the full range for yourself. So as promised at the beginning of the video, here's a short montage of people training with the Chinese straight swords. Thanks very much for watching. I hope it's been useful. I hope you learned loads about the metal Tai Chi sword we have for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. If you found this video useful, like this channel, click the little icon down below and get all the latest videos from all the products we have here for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. Thanks very much and I'll see you soon. Cheers.